In today's video, we're gonna unleash the beast. This is the Rock Island Armory VR80 semi-automatic 12 gauge, and this one's mine. Step off. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thank you very much for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell, and we'd like to thank all of our viewers for sticking with us. Help us get traction, keep all the wheels moving. And if you haven't done it already, be sure to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button so you'll never miss an episode. And today we got something special. Today we're gonna to be talking about the VR80. And the VR80 is sold by Arms Corps and it's imported by Rock Island Armory, which makes a lot of great products. Now, this particular one is made in Turkey and it is a gas-operated, magazine-fed, semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun. And the competition uh, shooters are loving this for several reasons. If you notice this looks like an AR-15, you're not far off. The beauty of this is not only does it look like an AR, but it has all the same ergonomics. So you don't have to worry about training yourself over again with an unfamiliar platform because it feels like an AR-15 and it shoots like an AR-15. And except for a few minor points, it operates like an AR-15. Now, what sets this apart is it has an aluminum upper and lower made out of 775 aluminum T6 and that gives you lightweight and a lot of good strength and you're going to notice from looking at this that the uh, controls are going to be very similar with that of the AR. You're going to have an oversized magazine release here. You actually have an ambidextrous safety on both sides. So for righties or for lefties, it's going to be easy to operate the safety. Now, in California, we have to do things a little bit different. And the way it comes to California to make it acceptable is this is going to be um, your, your breakdown. And to, in order to drop the magazine, you pull that all the way out release it just a little bit, it stops and holds itself, and now this will allow the magazine release to work. Close it back up, close that up, you're ready to go. Also, to meet California standards, it comes with this exceedingly ugly, completely unattractive, godforsaken thing they call a stock. And, um, but, you know, don't, don't be too disheartened because underneath this stock is a standard buffer tube for an AR-15 um, underneath it, which means with one screw in the back and one screw in the grip, this can entirely be removed. And you can replace this hideous looking furniture with your favorite combination of much more ergonomic feet of furniture such as Magpul so you can get a much nicer stock you can put a better grip on it to make it much easier to work with now we were talking about some of the control features on this side including the magazine drop as well as the safety now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over to the other side so that you can see the features on the other side now you're also going to notice ambidextrous safety You've also got your, um, uh, your hold back and your release for the bolt. And this right here is the bolt handle for the VR. Now, one of the things that makes this a game changer is you can actually take this charging handle and actually put it on the other side. So if you're more comfortable operating off of the right or the left, you have a choice. So because of that, um, it makes it very easy to use. Instead of the AR-15 that operates off the back, here you can operate off of either side. In fact, there are even some upgrades that allow you to have one that goes all the way through that allows you to do both at the same time. Right or left, 
good to go. Some of the other features that it comes with that's really nice is you have flip-up sights, and these come standard. You can put this out of the way. And one of the beauties of the flip-up sights is it allows you to take full advantage of a full-length rail. So you can put different types of optics packages on this. I think eventually this might get like a three-power red dot, which I think would be great. Um, it comes with a 20-inch barrel, and this is just a screw-on um, uh, muzzle cover. It, it looks like a suppressor, but it's not. It's just for looks. And it's screwed on, and this is how you remove this to start the takedown procedure. So the flip-up sights give you a real nice capability of being able to use optics, or if the optics fail, you can go back to your flip-up sights. And it will take all kinds of different flip-up sights depending on what you like. You're also going to notice that you have sling mounts for a QD or a quick detach mount here and here, as well as another rail on the side if you wanted to attach, say, something like a flashlight. Now I'm going to flip it back over to the other side so that you can see you have the same features on both sides. You have the QD sling mounts here and here you have a conventional sling mount, which can be put on each or other side, as well as a sling mount at the back. So it comes with some really nice features in it. Now, this particular one can shoot either two and three quarters or three inch shells. Now, you do have to go through one part change in order to go from one to the other. And it's kind of hard to see, but underneath, the, uh, the hand guard is a little bit of uh, what you would call a tube or a spacer. And the one that we have in here now is for shooting two and three quarter. But if you remove the, the, um, the muzzle cover, the whole front comes off and you can replace that without too much trouble, which will take you up to three inch. So you have a lot of versatility whether you want to run the two and three quarter or the three inch with only one minor part change and not having to dig into the entire gun to do it. Now, it's also worth noting that the handguard is also set up for M-locks, which means you can add different types of accessories, whether it's um, protective covers to protect yourself from heat or for adding different types of accessories like lights or lasers. So the beauty of this is the adaptability. Um, the fact that you can personalize this so many different ways. Using the functions that are built into it, it doesn't require a whole lot of upgrades. And for those of you that like the AR platform, you're going to find that this is a really nice extension of it. Um, also, like I said before, the stock is easily removable so that you can put in different types of furniture that might please you a little bit better. Now, it's also worth noting that there are different variations of magazines that you can get. In California, these are sold with two five-round magazines, but you can also get a nine-round magazine, legal in California. In the free states, you can get a 19-round magazine, which actually looks fairly ridiculous because it sticks out to about here or a 20 round drum, which is also not available in California. But it comes with the two fives. And I would recommend that this goes through actually a break-in period. I would recommend starting off by running it with some hot loads to really get the thing moving. And then once you're done with that, it'll take just about anything that you want to put in it. Um, the beauty of these is that they have a reputation of being able to use just about whatever ammunition you want to put in it. And you're probably saying to yourself right now, Ed, talk is cheap. We want to see some live fire. So the guess what? Because you demanded it, we're going to pump some rounds through it. So that said, I've got a standard five right here. This slides in. 
Make sure it's got good purchase and locks up. Then pull the slide all the way to the rear and let it go forward. It's a little cumbersome with this stock, but look through your sights. <laughs> All right, now on the empty round, it's going to lock itself to the rear. You're going to open this up. It's going to go forward by itself and you'll be able to release that. Okay, that was just so much fun. Why would I want to stop, right? I'm going to close it up, push the pin back in, and now say hello to my little frame. This is the nine rounder. You too could be the first kid on your block with a VR80. <laughs> that was fun. Any questions? All right. We're going to come right back and I'm going to show you how to load up the magazines as well as use a loader which is going to really save your thumbs. We want to spend a little bit of time talking about the magazines and how to load them. Um, it fires a 12 gauge round. One of the things is, is when they're brand new, you're going to have a very heavy spring. You're going to push way down from the front and then back. Now, going up against that heavy spring, it's just going to get harder, especially when we're talking about the nine round magazine. And we picked up a magazine loader off the internet, and this is going to help save you because this little post right here is going to push it down to make room for another round to go in. So you're gonna push this, push this over the back, just like that. You're gonna push down nice and hard. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make room for another shell to slip in and you hold it while you take this off, move it back and again. Now, while I'm doing this, I also wanted to let you know that we also found these magazine pouches that also just happen to fit. And they're actually designed for AK-47 magazines, but the dimensions are so close that they also work for the VR-80 magazines. So if you're looking for a better way to carry things out in the field, that's going to offer you another opportunity to where you're not just filling up your pockets. Let me see if this has room for one more. That's it. All right. Ears on. We're going to dump these down range and we're going to go out strong. Not completely broke in. That's all right. All right. So we're done with the VR-80. This is nothing but, but a blast to shoot. And I emphasize the word blast. We want to thank all of you for sticking with us. Uh, for all of the products that we showed, please check out the description box. You can find them yourselves. We hope this was really helpful. And on behalf of the, the staff and all the production crew here at Shooter the Series, I'm Ed Thorell. We want to thank you again. Y'all take care.